mission in India. Remember the bishop, the church there, Pastor Joshua Prakash. Leave that mission today before the presence of the Lord. He's gone there as ambassador of, of this work. May the Lord use him. We ask for the anointing of God. We ask, lift your voice and pray for your bishop. It's in the mission field, in a hard ground. You cannot pray in whispers. You need to call on God. We pray for the provisions. We pray, Lord, for your protection. Hide him under your wings, O God, my Father. As he treads on scorpions, as he treads on dragons, as he treads on the serpents, as he treads on the wicked powers of darkness. My Lord, we are asking your protection and your deliverance and healing in the name of Jesus. We ask that you may cover him and hide him under your wings and under your shadow. May he find safety, O oh Lord, my God. He's traveling everything that he's doing, the baptism, the preaching, O oh Lord, we ask that you may release the anointing upon his life. Use him as a prophet to the nation, O oh God of India, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Bring those who are sick and let them be healed of you, God. Release the greater work and the greater anointing of healing, my Father, that many shall be healed, many shall be delivered, O oh God of their faults, of their wickednesses, O oh God, my Father, of their sicknesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, my Father, we pray that, my Lord, today the hand of God shall be heavy upon your servant, O oh God, as he ministers to your people. In the name of Jesus, and that God, my Father, many will receive the revival, the restoration. They will receive revival back, O oh God. Many will be ushered back into the season of greater works and greater labor, O oh God, my Father. This is a nation that, Lord, is known for, for work, O oh God, for laborers. And, Lord, my Father, let him ignite the fire in the laborers in this land, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let the fire that was in the day of Pentecost come upon the laborers as he ignites the fire of the labor that they may arise and bring greater works, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You've adorned with this India, Lord, you've adorned it for work for you. And Lord, they've done it before, and even now. You are rekindling the fire that they may bring greater harvest. They may bring greater works. They may bring greater revival. They may bring, oh God, my Father, greater deliverance. They may bring greater, oh God, my Father, harvest in your granary, oh God, in your vineyard, oh Lord. They may labor, oh Lord, my Father, let the fire of the laborers, let them be released of the fetters and the chains of the enemy, Lord, that they may be free, my Father, to bring greater labor, oh God, my Father, and greater work. Oh God, to do your work, oh God, my Father. As you release many, my Father, we pray for the anointing of the Lord to rest upon their lives, oh God. Let the anointing of the Lord rest upon their lives, oh God, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this morning. You are our God, you never change, our Lord. We bless your holy name, O God, my Father. We pray, my Father, for his stay, the food, the water, the place to sleep, oh God. Safety, my Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name, O oh God, and we adore you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord, for the church that you have gone to encourage. It's not easy, my Father. It's far. It's not easy. But, Lord, you have made it possible because of your grace. Because your grace can push us to do and to reach where we could not reach. And to do that which we could not do. Your grace, Lord, has been sufficient. And we give you all the glory, my Father. We give you all the glory, my Lord. We bless your holy name this morning. And even us, O oh God, my Father, O oh Lord, we pray. Let us also pray for the other churches wherever they are in the nations. That the Lord today as they gather the presence of God.
who move in their midst. And the Lord will rest upon their, being, upon their lives this morning. And the Lord will start releasing the laborers again. Igniting the fire of the laborers again. A fire that cannot be quenched again for greater works. We pray for the church in Tanzania. We ask the Lord God, your hand, to be upon this church, O oh Lord. As they gather, my Father, as they gather, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask of your grace and your hand upon their lives, O oh God, my Father. And the anointing of the Lord to flow. We pray for the work, O oh God, in Liberia. We pray for the work, O oh God, even in Ethiopia. We pray for the work of God, even in South Africa. We pray, my Father, even for Germany. We pray even for Netherlands, O oh Lord. We pray even for UK, my Father. We pray even for Australia, my Lord. We pray, my Lord and my Father, O King of glory. Let your name be glorified, O God, my Father. Let your name be glorified, O Lord, my Father. As you kindle, rekindle again the flames of labor and the flames of greater works, O God. The flames, O God, my Father, of your work, my Lord, that cannot be quenched, O Lord. They cannot be sweet. They cannot go dim, but they will burn until Christ comes, O Lord, in in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, we give you all the glory, my Lord. We give you all the praise, our Father. You are worthy of our, of our praise this morning. And we worship you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, this morning. And we bless your holy name, my Father. We worship you, Lord. Let there be your grace even in Rwanda, my Father. Let there be grace even in Uganda, my Father, in the name of Jesus. As the people gather, my Lord, and they call upon your name, we are asking, and it's our desire this year, light again the fire. Light again the fire that we may be the laborers that you can use and depend on. Oh God, my Father, in your work, in your fine yard, oh God, my Lord, we are saying yes, we are here, Lord, and you are speaking to us. And we are saying, Lord, you'll find laborers in this field. You will find laborers, oh God, my Father, for your field, for your vineyard, oh God, my Lord. We are ready, oh God, my Father, like the fire of the labor in our hearts, in our hands, oh Lord. Use everything that is of us, oh God, for the honor and the glory of your name, oh God, this morning. Let us pray also for the gathering of the people here today so that we may receive. We have the youth rally. We have the celebration service. We have this service. Ask the Lord that my father would touch, that our father would touch many and gather many to the house of the Lord to receive impartation, to receive grace, to receive grace and mercy to help us in time of need. As we come today, the Lord will speak to us. As we come today, the Lord will minister grace to us. As we come today in his house, the Lord will touch us. As we come today, the Lord will release his grace upon our lives. Let us pray for the youth this morning that they will gather. Let us pray for the men that they will gather. Let us pray for the women that they will gather. Let us pray for the children that they will gather today in the presence of the Lord, to be touched of the Lord, to be renewed of the Lord, to be healed of the Lord, to be built by the Lord, to be touched by the Lord, to be remembered by the Lord as we come in his presence. Thank you, my Father. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name, my Father, and we bless your holy name. Oh God, my Father, we pray even for the worship team today. Empower them. Empower them to bring the worship that is due your name, oh God. Oh Lord, my Father, empower, Lord, the evangelists. Empower the pastors. Empower the teachers. Empower, my Lord, all those who are laboring in different fields. Empower them them today, oh Lord, that they may labor, they may bring out the labor, oh God, my Father, that you desire of them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. We bless your name, oh Jesus. We adore you, Lord, and we bless you. There is none who is like unto thee, our Father. We worship you, our God, and we bless you, our King. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever we endeavor to do here in your house, Lord, we surrender it to your hands, O oh God, my Father. And we ask that you may move with us. You may move with us. You may walk with us. You may direct us. You may lead us, O oh God, my Lord. And you may speak to us. And you may minister grace to us, O oh Lord. There's none who is like unto thee. We acknowledge your throne. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your presence. You acknowledge your presence, Lord in our midst today. 
And we say, Lord, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our worship. There is none who is like unto thee, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Thank you, my Father. Today, receive all the glory and all the honor because you are worthy to receive all the praise and all the honor. We want to give God glory even in advance. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you, you are wonderful, you are worthy, O oh Lord, you are wonderful, you are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. 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 You are precious, Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are precious, Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Choose to surrender to the Lord this morning. There's something that the Lord is coming to do with us this morning. Surrender your life to Jesus. Bring your heart to reason with God. He says, Come, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together. Even if your sins are as red as crimson, I'll make them white as snow. Come, let us reason together. Even concerning the labor that needs to be done. Come, my people, and let us reason together. Concerning the labor and the greater works. 
Come, let us dialogue. Come, let us talk to each other today. Come, let us agree today. How can the two work together unless they agree together? Come, let us agree together concerning the labor and the greater works. I'm calling my children, I'm calling my church to come and we reason together. Let the women come, we reason together. Let the men come, we reason together. Let the youth come, we reason together. Concerning my vineyard, concerning the nations, concerning my work. Every other institution is raising its laborers. They are investing in raising their laborers. But the institution of God is not raising laborers as they should. And the Lord is asking us to come and to reason with him. Lord, we give you glory. We bless your holy name. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify you. Every year, every institution, whether it's for cooking or treating animals or treating humanity, they are releasing laborers to the field. But we have failed to release laborers to the field of God. We ask as a church, as a ministry, that the Lord will help us to equip the laborers, to release the laborers, to prepare them. One generation after another. It's not an easy work, it's not an easy job. Because as Jesus said, the fields are white, but the laborers are few. It remains up to today. You're still asking the prayers for the laborers. This morning we want to do prayers and ask the Lord to deliver, to break the shackles where the laborers have been tied, where they are confused, where they are backslidden, where they have quitted from the place of labor this morning. We want to ask the Lord to have mercy. Ask the Lord to have mercy today. Ask the Lord to have mercy. The only institution that lacks laborers is the ministry of God, is the work of God. It lacks laborers. But all other institutions, they don't lack laborers. They have overflow. They are those who finish school and they have not even been employed, even teachers, even nurses, even doctors. But the work of God lacks laborers. Let us ask the Lord this morning. Let us ask the Lord this morning what really happened, what really went wrong. Every power of darkness be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Every shackles of darkness be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Every confusion, we arrest your power and destroy you in Jesus' mighty name. Every backsliding, we come against you. The spirit of backsliding, the spirit of intimidation, the spirit of death, we come against you in Jesus' mighty name. We are in prayer, church, this morning. The church is the only institution that has no laborers. That has no laborers. Every other institution has laborers. Every year they are laborers. They have overflow. But the church has never had even overflow. 
every time we are scratching, the Lord is looking with a torch to see whether he can find one who can befit him and who can befit and who can be the field laboring for him. This is the only labor that people face it with fear. With fear. But when they are going to train other careers, they have no fear. Even when they train and they have no job, they are okay. <laughs> May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy, even us, in this place. In the name of Jesus. It was even hard in the times of Joshua. There was no new generation to rise up and take the mantle and take the work forward. It had to be the old Joshua. We ask that the Lord will give us a generation here that will serve the Lord that will give their lives, that will give their hearts to serve the Lord. To labor for God. Speak to the Lord. You speak into our hearts this morning. We are talking about the labor. But are you a laborer? Are you a laborer? Have you made up your mind to be a laborer? Have you chosen to be a laborer? Have you decided to be a laborer? Are we forcing you to be a laborer? In this sea, as the Lord found a laborer, can he find his Peter? Can he find his Paul? Can he find his Timothy? He is searching for a laborer. Can he find a laborer in this place? Oh, he's just wasting time. Speak to the Lord this morning. Jesus walked around and he found a handful of laborers. The multitudes were many, but he found a handful of laborers. The multitudes may be many, but the laborers are handful. We are asking the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus. The laborers that can love the labor and can love the one of the the one who has the labor. Lord my God, we ask of your mercy. We ask of your mercy today. We ask of your grace today. The work indeed is great. You need laborers, and you have come to search in eternity whether you'll find laborers. And we are saying, Lord, here we are. Here we are. 
Pick your Matthews. Pick your Peters today. Pick your Phillips today. Pick, Lord. Choose, Lord. We yield our hearts to you, Lord. You are Nathaniel's. You are Thomas's. You are Andrew's. Oh, Lord, my God. We come with our open hearts before you, God. And in the searching, Lord, may you find. In your searching, God, may you find a willing, a willing soul, a willing laborer. In your searching, Lord, may you come to a point of rest. Because you'll find someone, a laborer, who is worthy. Who is worthy in this place. Who is worthy. Who is worthy, you Lord. Who is worthy, you Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you because you won't search for long. You won't search for long. You won't search for long. You won't get out of this place empty-handed. Oh Lord, my Father. We don't know where else you've been searching for a laborer. But we know here you are searching for one that can do your will. That can carry your purposes. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name, God. We adore you, my Father. You'll find steady laborers here, the Timothys of old. You'll find them here, the Barnabas of old, the Lydias of old. You'll find, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name, Lord. And we adore you, my Father. And we bless you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you because in this place you'll find the joy of your heart. You'll laugh again. You'll rejoice again. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Come today, Lord, and open the graves where the laborers have been buried. The mass graves, Lord, where the laborers have been buried, where the emotions have been buried, where their wills have been buried, where their strengths have been buried. Come and open these tombs, Lord. Let the power of God come and open and shake these tombs open. Where the enemy has buried the resources of your kingdom. The strength of the laborers. The sight of the laborers. My God and my Father. Come, Lord Jesus, I invite you, Lord, to come and open these tombs. Open them wide, O oh Lord. That the laborers may come alive again. That the laborers may come alive again. That the laborers may come alive again. Come, Lord.
Thank you, my Father, that the tri bones may live again. Where your armies, Lord, have been terrorized and destroyed and buried and destroyed and rotten and have broken even to pieces, that there's no hope there. Lord, we ask that today you restore hope again in the name of Jesus. That my Father, Lord, every bone shall come back to its own joint, Lord. And the flesh shall come and this new shall come. And the wind of God and the breath of God shall come. And together, Lord, you love an army, a great army, for your work, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today come, Lord, and let the hand of the enemy let go today in the name of Jesus. Today come with greater power. Today show yourself mighty and glorious in our midst, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 